With billions of shots given worldwide, COVID-19 vaccines have proven to be safe and effective. Earlier research found a connection between COVID vaccines and mild heart inflammation, especially in adolescent and young adult males. Now Cedar sinai scientists are learning more about the vaccine's connection to a little known heart condition. And Denise Dador spoke to a patient who explains what POTS is. Every time I'd stand up, I'd see this black tunnel at the edge of my vision. 34-year-old Kim Ryberg started experiencing postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS, shortly after she contracted the Epstein-Barr virus at age 12. Since then, she's had severe episodes of dizziness and fainting. At a certain point in my late 20s, it got so bad that I couldn't even walk up a single flight of stairs. Her doctors say exposure to Epstein-Barr caused dysfunction to her autonomic nervous system, which controls heart rate and blood pressure. Most patients face diagnosis delays of uh, on average two years. They see seven different physicians before they get diagnosed. Dr. Alan C. Kwan treats POTS patients at a specialized clinic at Cedars-Sinai. So when he started hearing about people experiencing POTS symptoms after getting the COVID vaccine, he and his team did a deep dive into patient health records. It does appear to be a small signal associating uh, COVID-19 vaccines with POTS occurring after the vaccine exposure within 90 days. The study data suggests the risk of getting POTS following vaccination is less than five cases per one million doses. And Dr. Kwan and his team also did a parallel study and found the risk of developing POTS following a COVID infection was markedly higher when you were exposed to the virus compared to the vaccine. The risk of contracting POTS from the infection was significantly higher, more than five times uh, higher than from the vaccination. Dr. Kwan says not only does the COVID vaccine confer protection against COVID disease, but the study also finds it offers substantial protection against POTS. The data shows people should still get vaccinated. The probability says that this will help protect you and those around you. He hopes his research will help connect people with POTS to the proper specialty care. My hope is that by shining a light on this, we help uh, people who are experiencing or uh, struggling with, uh, with POTS. While Kim did experience some symptoms after vaccination, she's confident the COVID vaccine saved her from something much worse. I believe it's what protected me and kept me out of the hospital, even though I was sick. I was not nearly as sick as I have been in the past and could have been. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.